Is Kellen Moore really going to get more out of Tony Pollard this season? I don't know. Reports coming out of OTA saying he's lining up in receiver spots. So today's episode, we're going to talk about the Tony Pollard Debo effect. The Debo Pollard effect today. It's a copycat league, y'all. Are the Dallas Cowboys getting ready to use Tony Pollard like we've seen a Debo Samuels in San Francisco? Let's talk about it, y'all. Function to the next level. When you're taking on the elements, versatile layers become an essential part of your everyday style. Y'all know how I do it, man. I'm sitting in here in between some things, if you know what I mean. I got Channel 88 Sirius XM radio going on in the background. And with all of the reports coming out of OTAs with Tony Pollard lining up as a receiver, one has to think, is Kellen going to get more <laughs> out of Tony Pollard this year? It's a copycat league, y'all. We're going to talk about it on today's episode. So y'all know the drill. Let these episodes, let these episodes, let these notifications go out. Let this room fill up. Y'all know the drill, baby. We in the gym. Get your gym clothes on today. We're going to break a sweat. We're talking about Tony Pollard. We're talking about Debo Samuels. We're talking about the Debo Pollard effect today. And it's a copycat lead. Why do I work at Paul Davis? I love solving problems, working with my hands. But what I really care about is making a difference. Visit Happy Monday, everybody. We have 90 days until we kick off Sunday Night Football. We are officially a Tank Lawrence, a Demarcus Lawrence, a No Dreads Lawrence. 90 days, that's right, baby. 9-0, law and order, hashtag law and order away from Sunday Night Football. I'm excited about that. But according to the Dallas Morning News, last week, last Thursday, actually, reports are coming out of the star in the OTAs that Tony Pollard has been lining up in the slot, lining up out there in the receiver position. Are we getting ready to see a copycat league? Is Kellen Moore actually cheating off of the, I don't know, what is that coordinator's name over there for San Francisco? Damn, dog, you got to get your muffler fixed. But whatever the coordinator's name is over there in San Francisco, is he cheating off of his notes? Are we seeing a copycat league? Is that what's getting ready to happen? Because a lot of folks don't really understand or really even know that Tony Pollard <laughs> wasn't even a running back in college. But y'all know the drill, baby. If you're tapping in today, do me a favor. Leave me a comment. Let me know where you are watching from. It's your favorite. Cowboy cousin, baby. It's BG, the Cowboys Unifier, baby. If you got it, pull it up. If you got it, we're going to roll it up today. So we're talking about this Debo Pollard effect with the news coming out. We seen a Debo Samuels last year, right? Debo Samuels, untraditional positional player, right? Came in the league at one position, got switched to another. Sound familiar, Cowboy fans? <laughs> Well, at least for those of y'all that are tapped in, because we know 85% of the Dallas Cowboy fans don't even care about this right now. They are asleep. But y'all know how I do it. I'm listening to this Channel 88 Sirius XM radio. Make sure you go over. We got to get the plug, baby. Go over there and check it out. SiriusXM.com. Download the app. It's still a free listening period. I don't get paid nothing for that. Straight brand ambassador, baby. Let's get some shout outs. See who's going. What up, Ahmad? I see you, baby. Saying howdy to the group. Appreciate that, everybody chiming in. What up, Tommy? Green Badges on the line. Four-month anniversary subscriber. That's right. Shout out to all the six-month subscribers. We're going to talk about that. Six-month subscribers. You got something in the bag coming, baby. What up, Sam? I see you, baby. OAT admin on the line. Watch for the hook. What up, Anthony? What up, King Sharon? You know the drill, baby. King Sharon is back in the building, baby. Get them shares on, baby. We got to get them shares on. I ain't seen my man Mike Rock, man. I don't know my man Mike Rock might be taking a long nap over there somewhere. I've been around. You've had this surgery, but I've been around a lot of doctors. But y'all know the drill, baby. If you got it, pull it up. If you got it, roll it up. We're talking about the Debo Pollard effect. We've seen how Debo Samuels sliced and diced the NFL. Actually sliced and diced the Dallas Cowboys. Did he not? Does anybody remember how many yards Debo Samuels had against the Dallas Cowboys in that last game last season? I don't want to bring up old shit, but I want to make a point. And I think being cautious with him is the most important thing. We all know he was an old pro as a rookie. Um, and we have what up, Bradley Smith? I see you, baby. What up, Carlos Bryant? I see you, baby. Fellow Cowboy cousins in the house. Y'all know that's what it is. It is Monday. We are 90 days away from Sunday Night Football. And I know some of y'all are like, why the fuck is this guy? 
talking about the Dallas Cowboys with 90 days left <laughs> before the season kicks off. Well, we're going to tell you a little something here, Twinkle Twinkle. You know what I mean? We stay tapped in with our Dallas Cowboys over here. It's called a lifestyle. <laughs> Some people just ain't built for this shit, if you know what I mean. So if you tapping in here today, if you in the gym, that means you built for this type of shit. So I appreciate you, one, for being awake because you have to get your ass out of bed <laughs> to go to the gym. But once you get in the gym, baby, you got to pump that weight. So just like Larry Allen does on that weight bench, you know, when Larry Allen was on that bench press, y'all seen Larry Allen throw up 225 pounds 43 times, right? I need y'all to get on that share button, baby. Let's go. Hit that share button. Let's get this before we get way too deep in this. We are talking about the Debo Pollard effect. Thank you, Carlos. I appreciate that. If that's 100% facts, appreciate you going to getting that information. It looks like Debo Pollard had over 100 yards against the Dallas Cowboys in the Dallas Cowboys playoff loss, right? Well, is Kellen going to get more out of Tony Pollard this season like a Debo Samuels? I think so. Why? Well, I mean, it's a copycat league. What happened the first year that Prescott came into the league? Tony Romo was hurt in Seattle. Dak got thrusted into the starting role because Kellen <laughs> Moore broke his ankle, right? Remember how we talked about the Dallas Cowboys history will be changed off of a broken ankle. Y'all remember that? If not, go to officialamericasteam.com. Make sure you join the mailing list as we talk about this Debo Pollard effect. After that first year of Dak Prescott being in the league, guess what? They had film. You know that all 32 stuff everybody watches and goes out there and watches film and breaks down film. If you watch all 32 or all 22 or whatever they call it over there, y'all know it's a whole bunch of money. But those folks that look at film, they watch that. You know what I mean? So I appreciate all the film watchers out there breaking it down so we can get these stats to understand what's important and what's not. We didn't get enough out of Tony Pollard last season. Can I get an amen? What up, Lee Harrison? I appreciate you joining. Y'all know the drill. If you're tapping in for the first time, I need you to leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. We're talking about the Debo Pollard effect. We're 90 days away from Sunday Night Football last Thursday. Reports coming out of the star according to the Dallas Morning News. Tony Pollard has been lining up in the slot receiver spot. Now, we all know Ezekiel Elliott is RB1, right? We are all on the same page with that, right? Everybody here understands Ezekiel Elliott is running back number one, right? Okay. So I want to make sure. Anybody not on the same page here? If you don't feel Ezekiel Elliott is not running back one material, and you're here because you want to hear about Tony Pollard or push your Tony Pollard agenda that he should start over Zeke, I need you to chime in. I need you to know. I need you to comment. Let me know. Are we on the same page that Ezekiel Elliott is the running back one of the Dallas Cowboys? Anthony Strada says, I wanted to see more of him as well. Hell yeah. You know, if you look at PFF and all of his numbers and everything, all of his in-game stats when he's in the game, he's affected the game as we talk about the Debo Pollard effect. It's a copycat league. So will Kellen get more out of Tony Pollard, a.k.a. the playmaker. Shout out to Pollard's Barbecue down there in Memphis, Tennessee, baby. If you didn't know, now you do. That's why you follow us here. If not, turn your notifications. Make sure you check out the five things you need to know about Tony Pollard as we're talking about this Debo Pollard effect today. Appreciate that, Eddie, down there in Mexico. Shout out to my Cowboys primos and my Cowboys primas. Down there south of the border, baby. You know how I do it, baby. Appreciate y'all tapping in. Got love for my Mexico fans down there. Sam Harris chiming in and says, what up? He says, took Kelly Moore to decide what to use Tony P in the slot when that's what he did in college. You know, a lot of times common sense ain't so coming, right? <laughs> Especially for Dallas Cowboy fans. You know, we like to live in this delusional arena. Well, sometimes common sense ain't so common. But I think when you had the politics of last season too as well, 
And all things considered, you got a coach in Mike McCarthy, and does he really have the keys to this Corvette? Does he really have the keys to this Corvette? Is Kellen Moore going to get more out of Tony Pollard? Is Mike McCarthy going to be more hands-on when it comes to play calling with Kellen Moore? Is he going to let Kellen Moore have the rock and run it? I don't know, but with reports coming out according to the Dallas Morning News out of OTAs last Thursday at the Star that Pollard's lining up in the slot receiver spot, one has to say at least it looks like we might be on the right page. Because why? It's a copycat league. So is Kellen essentially going to get more out of Tony Pollard by a copycat league when it comes to Debo Samuels? Y'all can give it up. Debo Samuels ain't coming to no Cowboys, man. I don't care if he reported the OTAs. He ain't reported. I don't care if he shut down his Instagram, started a new Instagram, started TikToking with Juju. I don't care. Debo not coming to nobody, Dallas. So let's just get that out of the picture right now. Anthony Estrada says, I believe Elliott has this year to prove himself. If not, I really think he's lost his touch. I think you're on to something right there, Anthony. I think you're exactly right. I think this is the Ze this is the year Zeke has to prove it to himself, let alone his fucking haters out here, right, that think Tony Pollard is a better running back. <laughs> He's a better running back one than Ezekiel Elliott. But those are typically the type of delusional Cowboy fans we talk about that are normally asleep. 85% of the fans out there that are asleep this time of year that latch on to these narratives and bite that type of bullshit up from the media, right? <laughs> I mean, because Tony Pollard was not even a running back in college, right? I mean, you'd know that if you went up to officialamericasteam.com and checked that out. You need to know those five things about Tony Pollard. But is more going to get more out of Tony Pollard? Well, I would hope so. I would hope that Mike McCarthy and I would hope that Kellen Moore would like to get the most out of every one of those stars, including a Mr. C.D. Lamb who put on 10 more pounds. You know, them boys have been doing work out there and mandatory mini workout camps as we're going into mandatory OTAs and we got a Dalton Schultz sitting out. That's okay. That's a different topic. Dalton can go sit somewhere. He ain't a Gronkowski, right? But we're talking about Tony Pollard. Or is Tony Pollard going to see more on-field action? Well, according to the Dallas Morning News, he just says, I want to make the most of all of my opportunities. I hear you, young dog. I hear you. Go out there and eat. I would hope and like to see both Ezekiel Elliott and Tony Pollard on the field at the same time. I mean, what's wrong with having two great running backs? Or maybe one Swiss Army knife like Debo Samuels <laughs> is Dallas doing a copycat on the San Francisco 49ers? Well, I mean, it's a copycat league after all, right? Juan Madrid's checking in right there. Great question. As we change it up a little bit, he says, you think Vander Esch will have a comeback this year, contract year? Of course. I mean, anytime any player is on a contract year, they better have a comeback year. You know, biggest opponent of Leighton Vander Esch has been the injury opponent. You know, we've talked about that here several times. The NFL stands for what? Not for long. But you know what's the best part of waking up, baby? I had to get on here and talk to y'all about the Debo Pollard effect. Is Kellen Moore going to use him more? What are y'all hearing out there? What do y'all think? Is that good news coming out of the star that Tony Pollard's being lined up in the slot receiver position? Are you happy to hear that? Are you happy to hear that maybe he's not going to have to split touches in the backfield as much if we branch him out and put him in the slot? Y'all forget Michael Gallup's not going to be there at the start of the season. We got James Washington. We got C.D. Land wide receiver one. You got Dalton Schultz sitting out. Maybe this might be a great opportunity for a Debo 2.0 and a Tony Pollard, a.k.a. the new playmaker. But y'all know the deal, baby. If you're tapping in, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from, baby. Y'all know how I do it. I'm on these high hemp, these bubble bubble ramps. I found me another box of these. I done got lucky. You know what I mean? I heard they, ban I heard they had banned these. Because it looked like Hubba Bubba the gum. I guess Hubba Bubba took them to court. So now they got all these eights across it. Because Hubba Bubba, if you really think about it, it looks like a bunch of eights, right? But shout out to High Hemp. But I'm on this artisan brand today. Shout out to Northwest Cannabis Connection. 
You know what I mean? I'm on this Jack Herrera, this artisan Jack Herrera today. Real sticky, real good flower. If you know Jack Herrera, you don't know Jack Herrera. Jack Herrera was a advocate for cannabis advocacy. And since then, he's gone on and passed, and now they've named this strain after him. So shout out to Jack Herrera and all things as we talk about game changers here with the Debo Pollard effect. Come on now. I need y'all to chime in with me today, baby. Where are my gym rats at that are tapped into the gym, that are tapped in with your Dallas Cowboys? Are we going to get, or is Kellen going to get more out of a Tony Pollard this season? Rico Creamsta, 49ers. You 49er fan if you're checking in? It's okay. We like to hang out with other 32 NFL fans. Shout out to the NFC East. NFC East matters. The NFC East truly matters if you didn't know. <laughs> you know, the NFC East, the most chipped division in the league, right? Yeah. We're going to be talking about that 13 Lombardis between four teams. Y'all know how many the Cowboys got. I know everybody. I know all the mathematician haters out there know how many the Cowboys got. They got the same amount as the San Francisco 49ers, right? But <laughs> that's a different division. NFC East Matters, man. If you like NFC East Matters and all of that, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that follow button right there. We're going to be talking about a lot of NFC East Matters content here this season. But we're live here today talking about Tony Pollard, talking about Kellen Moore. Is Kellen going to get more out of Tony Pollard? Clearly, the reports coming out of the star say yes. Now, like one famous Cowboy fan that most folks know in Philadelphia, and y'all know I hate Philadelphia. But shout out to the answer. Because, you know, we just talk about practice. You know what I mean? Practice? Yeah, practice, dog. We just talk practice? Yeah, we talking about practice right now. We talking about practice reports coming out. Tony Pollard's being used like a Swiss Army knife. Is that going to be good for the Dallas Cowboy offense? It's needed, if you ask me. We got Gallup is going to be out. We don't know how many weeks. Has anybody got a firm grip on that? They said he's coming back fast from his, his stuff. I've been following it a little bit, saying he's doing great over there coming back. You know, we got the newly signed James Washington. We got C.D. Lamb been thrusted up the wide receiver one. You know, he's put on 10 pounds in the offseason, too, as well. So shout out to C.D. Lamb out there putting on the weights. C.D. Lamb been in the gym, y'all, unlike some of my green badges here that don't hit the share button, baby. Come on now. We talking about practice, baby. What up, Jay Mack? And I see you, baby. That is the OG right there. The OG subscriber is on the line. He is the Otis Green Badge on the books, baby, since September 20. I appreciate you, Jay Mack. Upstate New York right there. My man loves some coffee and blunts like your boy BG. And he a diehard cowboy. I appreciate you checking in and always supporting the content, Jay Mack. And if you want to support this content today here, too, if you're a Dallas Cowboy fan that likes to stay clocked into the gym, you like to follow your Dallas Cowboys, you like to keep up with them during the all season while the rest of the average 85% fans are asleep, that's you, baby. I need you to hit that green badge right there. Get like my other green badges, baby. They stay in the gym over there. We talk exclusively in the secret supporter group. After you hit that green badge, baby, and then you're going to be in a chance for a quest for the six-pack. I got five spots left. We're looking for five folks on this broadcast today to join the next quest for the six-pack prize. Shout out to the previous prize winners that have won. Shout out to my girl, Shamika Mallory, won the Big Val custom lid. Shout out to my girl, Misty, who won, or Mindy, I'm sorry, Mindy, who won the lady sweatshirt. And shout out to my man, Steve, who won the DAC t-shirt. So shout out to all them green badges for supporting the content. These shows are brought to y'all by these green badges throughout this all season. So thankful to these green badges that are diehard, just like y'all. We're built different, baby. It's a lifestyle. This is why we stay tapped in with our Dallas Cowboys. If that's you, you know the drill. Psh. And once you get your gym membership, baby, there's going to be expectations, baby. You got to get into the gym. And you got to throw that weight bar up like my man Larry Allen did 43 times, right? 225 pounds, baby. You know the deal. Come on now. Hit them notifications. We're talking about the Debo Pollard effect. I'm happy, you know. And if, you know, 
We can get into preseason and see some of these newer looks. Maybe see some of this newer offense that Kellen Moore and them are designing. Obviously, it's a copycat league. We know the definition of insanity is what? Well, the definition of insanity in my book as a Dallas Cowboy fan was under the Jason Garrett era when every play, every first play of the Dallas Cowboys game, no matter who the opponent was, it was Zeke up the middle. Anybody else remember that? Anybody else remember under the Jason Garrett era, every time we lined up, first and 10, first play out the gate, Zeke up the middle. It's like, damn, we knew, like, everybody knew that shit was coming, right? Can I get an amen? Well, it's a copycat league, and it looks like Kellen Moore over there took some notes from San Francisco when it came to Debo Samuels. And quite frankly, our fan base has been saying that since last season to our offensive coordinator. So shout out to all the fans who actually have been tapped in and understand the value of a Tony Pollard and what he can do as a Debo or something like a Debo Samuels when it comes to the San Francisco 49ers, right? So if that's you and you're joining me here today, I get my I tip my hat to you. If that's you, baby, you was on the right track. You know, because quite frankly, some of them fans that sleep, like 85%, I told y'all, sleep, they don't even fucking know. Tony Pollard was not even a running back in college, man. But that's why you tap in here with us every psh, day of the week, baby. Make sure you turn on your notifications here if you got it. Pull it up. If you got it, roll it up. It's Monday. We got 90 days away. And we're staying tapped in with our Dallas Cowboys here. So if you know the deal, if you're tapping in, do me a favor, leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. And we'll give you a shout out, baby. Eddie, so tell us, I hate old Clappy. Man, did y'all hear I, somebody hired Jason Garrett as a commentator? I'm like, why? I can't even remember what, was it Fox? Who was, I can't even remember why. You feel me? Is anybody else there with me? Why? Why would you hire Jason Garrett as a commentator? I don't know. I'm not hating on the guy. I just had to ask the question. If it was my network, mm, probably not. J. Mack is chiming in right back there talking about Tony Pollard. says, about time we start using him the right way. Well, like my man AI said, we just talking about practice right now. You know, this is coming out of the OTAs according to the Dallas Morning News. We posted that here earlier today with Tony Pollard. They quoted him there. Dallas Cowboys or Dallas Morning News, actually. So shout out to the Dallas Morning News here. You know, you do have to subscribe to be able to read their content over there. It is a cost pay prescription. But tsh, turn your notifications here. I share all the good shit from Dallas Morning News. Let me say you $4.99 so you don't have to subscribe to the Dallas Morning News. Hang out over here. I'll tell you about all of the news that comes out from the Dallas Cowboys or Dallas Morning News, rather, when it comes to the Dallas Cowboys, like what we're talking about today in Tony Pollard. Well, I'll tell you this. I think the pressure is on both Kellen Moore and the pressure is on both Mike McCarthy more than anybody. I don't think there's any pressure on Dan Quinn, and I think he loves that. However, as a team as a whole, there's three phases of the game. And the defensive side of the game, obviously, we've seen was in very much contention, except for a couple of key games, we didn't show up where it mattered. And in terms of the offense, yeah, that's great. We broke a lot of records. Receiving, passing, you name it. You know, Zeke still got over a 1,000 yards and he was hurt. Y'all know that, right? RB1, y'all remember that? RB1, we still there? But the offensive side of the ball, you know me, y'all remember this thing that was going on between Dak Prescott and Tank Lawrence? Shout out to Tank as we talk about all things 90 days away from Sunday Night Football. Y'all remember that little locker room bet they had going on? Between Dak and Tank, right? By winning games and touchdowns or something like that. Does anybody else remember what I'm talking about? Or am I just talking to myself today? Y'all leave me a comment and let me know. Oh, Brandon's talking about the USFL hired my, uh, hired uh, Jason Garrett. Okay. He on the JV starting out. All right, well, he might make it up. I thought, they, I thought somebody hired him on the NFL network. Okay, USFL network, totally something different. We understand he's on the JV. What up, KD Carey says, think it was NBC. Appreciate you, J-Mac, and tuning in always, baby.
Appreciate you tuning in, Eddie. If you tuned in here today, appreciate y'all. Do me a favor, give me one share on your timeline as we've been talking about this Debo Pilot effect. What up, Adam Olvera? I see you, baby. No, no sleep here. That's what's up. Checking in. Bradley Nouvelles bringing up the DK Metcalf. I'll get to that. But as we're talking about, you know, the pressure on Mike McCarthy, the pressure on Kellen Moore, man, like, you know, the pressure is on Mike McCarthy. You got to understand that. He was brought here. He has a Super Bowl pedigree. He was brought here to win playoff games. That didn't happen last season. And little, I mean, you know, the pressure is on him as well, but I think he's pressuring himself too as well. As there's been some reports about some back and forth between, you know, the Jones, subliminal messages. Y'all know how Jerry does the isms between him and his head coach. You know, is there some beef there? You know, there's been some remarks about McCarthy saying he's just here to coach. He ain't part of this other bigger shit that's going on and a lack of so many words, right? Sam Harris is chiming back in right there. I see you, Starboy. What up, Starboy? See you checking in the building, them hard hitters. Lot 10 in the building. Sam right there says Jason Garrett's taking over for Drew Brees. I thought that so. I didn't think it was the USFL. So whoever brought up that USFL, that was uh, King Sharon. Okay. I think that's right. I think that is where Jason Garrett's going. Thank you, Sam, for chiming in over that. Drew Brees, like he took up Drew Brees' spot? Woo! I heard Drew Brees wasn't all that. I really didn't listen to him. Of course, I ain't no Saints fan. But I'm a Cowboys fan, and I'll tell you, <laughs> Jason Garrett ain't all that either. But if you got it, pull it up. If you got it, roll it up, baby. Y'all know it. Monday here with your favorite Cowboy cousin is BG the Cowboys Unifier. And I'm about to light this blunt, but we've been talking about this copycat league, right? The NFL is literally a copycat league. And all you got to do is if somebody cracks the code, it's copy that. You're not going to get hit with plagiarism. You're not going to get hit with fines. You're not going to, all you're going to have to hear is, hey man, I seen you copy my shit. You know, much like some of y'all copy mine. We'll see y'all on the next video.